Max at EMI was the Choir Boys. Um, and um, they're a great band. I love them. I'm still in touch with them now. Um, and they, they, they're, they're Joe Elliott's pickup band, you know. Um, Joe Elliott's Down and Outs is the Choir Boys, but they're still gigging. I went to see them a little while ago. Great bunch of guys. And they were managed by Sharon Osborne. And they were playing, we had them playing down in Tokyo at the NHK Hall, which is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's about 1,500 seater. It's maximum 2,000. But Ozzy was playing um, the, the night before at the Buddha camp, which is like, I think it's like 10, 12,000. And so there was myself, Sharon, uh, Rob McSween, and uh, Ozzy, and we're flying down on JL to down to Tokyo. Um, we're up the sharp end, and we're all getting a bit merry. And the captain, because of course the flight deck is above first class, and uh, and the, the the captain came down and said, "You're making too much noise, and if you don't shut up, we're going to land in Calcutta and throw you off." So nobody <laughs> wanted that. So um, in those days, the, you know, the, you didn't have individual. Um, uh, individual entertainment systems, they turned the lights down, put a movie on. And um, Rod McSween, I don't know if you know him, but Rod falls to sleep everywhere. Um, wherever you go, if it gets dark, Rod goes to sleep. And Ozzy got Sharon's eyebrow pencil and on Rod's uh, forehead wrote, fuck Japan on his forehead. <laughs> And he didn't wake up. So we get off at, we get off in Japan and we go straight to the Buddha camp. And we met by Mr. Ito. You remember Mr. Ito? He's he's Yakuza, you know, he's the fucking off off a finger missing tattooed, you know, he's he's the heavy duty guy, the promoter. And um, so Rod, we go through customs and everything, you know how polite they are, and he's got fuck Japan on his forehead. <laughs> And we go through all the customs, through the taxi driver, through the limo driver, to the side of the stage. Sharon's called ahead and all the crew are up on it. Nobody says anything. So he's introduced to Mr. Ito and Mr. Ito does a big bow and so does Rod with fuck Japan on his forehead. <laughs> and we go, anyway, to cut a long story short, we go all the way through the night and nobody says anything. And then we go straight from the gig to these, this Korean barbecue restaurant. And again, nobody says anything. He never goes to the toilet, never sees it on, on the thing. And we go back to the hotel, and everybody gets very drunk, and Rod goes to bed, still hasn't seen it. Of course, <laughs> he doesn't see it till he gets in his bathroom to go to bed. And he comes down to breakfast the next morning, and this eyebrow pencil is indelible. And he's been <laughs> rubbing at his head, and he's taking a layer of skin off his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he comes in with this red forehead, and all the crew and everybody <laughs> down there just crying with laughing at him. <laughs> absolutely priceless, absolutely uh, priceless. I've forgotten brilliant. about that. That's a gem. That's brilliant. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, nobody said a word. You know how polite they are. Nobody said a thing. 